Bethlehem was a village in the countryside surrounded by fields where shepherds were looking after their flocks of sheep. That night, an angel appeared to the shepherds in a dazzling blaze of light. They were terrified. The angel told them not to be afraid. I am bringing you good news, he said. The one who will save the world, the baby who will become a greater king than David, has been born in Bethlehem. You will find him in a cattle trough. And with that, the night sky opened to show thousands of angels praising God. After the angels had disappeared back into heaven, the shepherds rushed off to Bethlehem to find the baby. Then they returned to their sheep, singing praises to God and telling everybody about what they had seen. The way that God told the shepherds to come to see the baby reminds us that Jesus came to earth for all of us, whether we are rich or poor. When Jesus was just a few days old, Mary and Joseph took him to the great temple in Jerusalem. To their surprise, two people at the temple realized who Jesus was. One was a very old man called Simeon. He told Mary and Joseph that the child would be a light to show God to the whole world. A wise woman called Anna recognized that the baby would grow up to be the king who would rescue God's people. The shepherds were not the only visitors to see Jesus. Far away to the east of Israel were some wise men who studied the stars. These wise men noticed an unusual star in the sky that showed them that a king had been born to the Jewish people. So they prepared precious gifts and began a long journey to try to find him. Now at this time, Israel wasn't just ruled by the Romans, but also a king called Herod. He was nasty and cruel. He was always worrying that someone would come to take his throne away from him. The wise men from the east went straight to King Herod's palace, expecting to find the baby there. When they explained why they had come, Herod became jealous that this baby might be God's king. Because he was an evil man, he pretended that he wanted to find the baby so he could pay his respects. He sent the wise men to Bethlehem with instructions to come back and tell him where the baby could be found. But he didn't want to take presents to Jesus. He just wanted to kill him. Guided by the star, the wise men found where baby Jesus was. They were delighted and opening their treasure chests, gave him gifts of gold, sweet smelling frankincense and a spicy ointment called myrrh. The way that God told the wise men to come to see the baby reminds us that Jesus came to earth for everybody, wherever we come from. As the wise men were planning to return to their own country, God warned them not to go near Herod. So, without him noticing, they slipped quietly away. As they left, an angel came to Joseph and warned him that Herod was going to search for Jesus to kill him. Without waiting, Joseph took Mary and Jesus and left for Egypt where they would be safe from Herod. Eventually, much to everyone's relief, King Herod died. Mary, Joseph and the young Jesus returned to Nazareth where Jesus grew up. But those who knew the story of his birth wondered what was going to happen to him. So that's how Jesus was born. The Bible also tells us why he was born. It says that Jesus was God with us. Remember how long, long ago people had turned away from God and become separated from him? Jesus was not just an ordinary baby. He was God coming to be one of us. We couldn't get back to God, so he came to be with us. Many years later, we have the Easter story when Jesus died on a cross so we could all be forgiven. And then Jesus rose from the dead and returned to heaven. Although Jesus is now in heaven, he is still God with us.